Hey! Um, hi everyone. I know there's a lot of people new here. Um, so this is actually completely new for probably a lot of you. Um, um, and also, I don't even know why some of you people are actually still here. Um, I haven't uploaded in months. I would have forgot about this channel's existence, and probably most of you had. But this video came up in your recommended or in your sub box. So, hey, thanks for showing up. Um, this is gonna be... A more like a commentary video and I don't think I'm ever gonna do anything like this again but I'm just really frustrated over the last two days so some of you may know this guy does have like a million subscribers some of you may know about this guy called Nux Taku um, he's relatively big youtuber he makes a lot of um, uh, let's just say very bad content um, in general uh, he doesn't make a lot of good content um, I used to be a fan of some of his older work when he was just doing a parody of Honest trailers, like anime Honest trailers. Those were kind of funny. Um, then he started making these very, very sh rip off -y, like not rip off, very clickbaity titles and thumbnails, and they got kind of annoying. And then eventually I unsubscribe. I don't unsubscribe from people lightly. Sometimes I could not watch a video from someone for three years and I'm still subscribed because I still come out with something. And Nuxaku did still come out with like occasionally one video that was actually kind of good. I was a fan of his My Hero Academia um, Oscars video. Um, he really subverted everyone's expectations on that one. You know, sometimes he did come out with, like, a good video. I think he made a video on Gintama one time that I actually liked. Um, he, he has the ability to make relatively good content. But recently, he's just been wallowing in the garbage. And, uh, yeah, I don't care about all his memer 12-year-olds coming after me um, if they find this video for some reason. But... My God, he's pissing me off right now. Okay, so most most of you may not know this, or if you may know this, because it's been really popping off lately. Um, Ish there's this show, um, Ishikara Reviewers. Um, borderline Hentai by episode three. Funimation um, owned it, then they canceled it, and they said that it was not up to their standards. And... Yep, they got rid of it, and because they got rid of it, people got upset. People already hate Funimation for reasons I'm not really going to get into here, but you could find a myriad of reasons why people hate Funimation, from, like, Vic Mignona to dub line changes to, um, it's a little political, and I don't like getting political here, so I'm not going to get into any of that, but... It, they, 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 a lot of people have an animosity towards Funimation. This was just another thing for people to get angry at. Um, what's funny for me, though, is that a few days later, a Japanese um, TV station canceled the show, too, because, you know, it's borderline hentai. And a lot of, there is a good video actually explaining the situation um, in a very detailed manner and actually explaining a reason why this happened, how this happened, and why it, no one should be that upset to the point <laughs> to about all this um and it's actually by cartoon cypher so um i'll probably put an eye thing up there or something i don't know um but check their thing out it was a whole thing but nuxtaku did this thing that really angered me um some of you may know or may not know but like in the description all my things i have my mal there and that's because i actually use mal like i know mal rankings don't matter in the grand scheme of things and like you know the scores don't matter but i, I like mal and i like that it's at least usually how normal people feel who use mal um but he created a video to send his fans to go and make this review the show the top rated show on mal and they accomplished it in a matter of a day because he has a million subscribers and over ten thousand of his 12 year old fans actually fled to mal and to create new accounts and do when the mal mods are freaking the hell out because of course they are um because they're like no this isn't how this site works you can't do that but he doesn't see anything wrong with it at all he's kind of an asshole um and kind of insufferable about it like oh yes this is the justice brought upon you brought upon you that's kind of how his voice sounds like it's not a perfect imitation but i think it's pretty close um <laughs> 
but he really did this and feels nothing wrong with it and has not even made an apology or at least said, okay, guys, the meme is over. We can, um, uh, we can, we can stop this now. It's like, no, nothing. Um, it, it's, and then there are people who just don't use Mal, who don't know how Mal works, thinking that they do, saying that it'll just blow over. It doesn't blow over. It's going to stay up there. Um, or they're going to have to delete the show from rankings, which I highly doubt they're going to do since the show is like an actual real show that people watch, unlike the Pengu and the City thing. Because um, Pengu got memed up to the top, and they just blanked it out of existence. It'll be there for a second and then disappear. Um, it's... <laughs> That's just kind of like what they did with that one. But they're, the Mal Mods are trying to fix it, but I feel bad for them. But he does not give a shit, and that bothers me. Because it's like, how do you have that big of a fan base, and you're doing stuff like that? And then, at least if you know now know you have a fan base that you can do this major stuff like changing like go like sending 10,000 your fans to do something maybe ask them to do something good if you knew you had this power from the beginning like come on dude like try and be like like yo you use your powers for good ever watch the spider-man movie like god god damn he's so frustrating but the thing is so he did all that and that already made me angry i already just don't like the dude in general but like that was like a nail in the coffin for me and then he just uploaded a new video not too long ago like yesterday or earlier today depending on whenever i upload this um where he <laughs> is literally just miss researching things like he makes he made a super long video it's a really really freaking long video um it's longer than it needs to be about how he <laughs> How, um, about what Funimation said about the standards on, on their site, like, because the reason that they said they canceled is because it doesn't fit to our standards, which is fair. They did not sign up for a, a hentai. It really is. If you want, I don't, now don't think that I hate the show. I don't hate the show. The show's good. I like the show. But as someone who read the manga, it had gone farther than anyone could have possibly expected. And Nuxtaku seems to ignore that fact to such an obnoxious degree that it pisses me off. That it went farther than the manga. And the thing is, Funimation has sites on Apple. And if you know anything about Apple, there can be no porn on the Apple site on the apps, Apple App Store. There cannot be. It will not be tolerated there. If someone complains, that app will be shut down and Funimation will lose a revenue stream. That would be way too dangerous for them to even stream that site. But he goes to try and disprove the fact that Funimation standards by, um, there's this show called um, all, 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 like, all I Need Is A Sister. I actually watched that show. It's okay. It's me. It's mediocre. It's like a six out of ten. Um, I liked it, but I'll never watch it again. Um, but he <laughs> he makes a whole critique about a show and saying that oh well you allowed this show here and this meets your standards, but this show doesn't, and this show's actually good, um, but this cringy show does. But <laughs> he. The thing is, that's not even the show. He didn't watch the show. He watched the first two minutes of the show. And the first two minutes of the show do not represent the whole show. As his editor even fucking pointed out by saying, A, it's actually um, kind of a subversion. Um, like, and they kind of do a thing and they subvert your expectations. But uh, whatever. So his editor really doesn't care. Um, and he's like, it's not my video. I'm not going to really go and correct him. But Nuxaku goes in on a point about how they have all these cringy, very raunchy content. But the thing is about all you see is a sister. It's not about a guy trying to have sex with his little sister. Or drinking her breast milk or whatever. Or all the crap that happens in the first two minutes that just insanely perverted i will agree it's this guy's light novel this this guy's dream he wants this but that's not what he has he really doesn't even have a well he does have a little sister spoiler i don't think anyone's really gonna go watch the show but he has a little brother that's actually his little sister that <laughs> it's a dumb it's a dumb thing but like so he really wants a little sister but he doesn't and he has relationships 
um, you know, normal anime-esque relationships with these two other adult women. So, <laughs> the point is null and void. The show's relatively tame. But he made a big deal about it without doing research. And that's my biggest problem with this whole situation and why I'm getting so annoyed. He's trying to roast and trying to be memeing and trying to do, but he's not doing research. Can he not do just a monochrome of research? Like, my God, that's just the problem with any tube in general sometimes, but my God, my God, holy shit, what the, can you just do research for like two seconds? Like, dude, why is this so hard for you people to just not look up something? Look up what would happen. Like, don't talk about a show representing someone's company standards for what they're willing to produce and not watch the damn show. Ah, oh, man. You can't. You can't do that. It's and your fan base don't act like your fan base is like old enough to really actually go and watch the show for themselves. They'll do the same thing you did. They'll watch the first two minutes and go like, ah, uh, yeah, this is exactly what he was talking about. Funimation standard, my ass. Okay, fine. I would be on your side if that was their standard. But Interspecies Review had full sex, bro, dude. You can't. <laughs> It was a head. They did the same blurring technique that they do in hentai. Do you made a whole video series about the top ten flexes in hentai, and you're telling me you don't know what hentai is? Oh my god, man! Like, come on, stop making a big deal about a thing, ruining a site that some people actually care about. We know the scores don't matter. We know it's a dumb thing. And for you, it doesn't matter. But dude, you encroached on other people's territory for no damn reason. And that just pisses me off. Um, you are uh, the Logan Paul of YouTube. Like if you're watching that, I just want you to know, you are the Logan Paul of AnyTube to me. Um, you are the worst one. You are super annoying, and you make cringy, crappy content for 12-year-olds, and then you do shitty things, And but unlike Logan Paul, you don't apologize. Um, well, because you haven't done anything as bad as him yet. But who knows? Um, with the power that you now have, who knows how many things you'll just sick your fans to do. Because it doesn't look like that you're willing to do anything positive with the fan base that you have. Now, if you start doing some positive things like ha asking like, Hey, fan, you like this? You like anime? Go donate to the Anime Dormitory Project. I know your fan is full of 12-year-olds, but hey, you know, that'd be something. Or like, hey, you know... Do some, just anything to help people. Anything to help people. I don't know, I don't watch your content all the time. I sometimes watch an off video if it like, it very, very unlikely piques my interest. But like, and I usually click off in about five minutes because you kind of ramble for too long. I'm just gonna be honest, your videos are way too damn long. They're like 20 minutes. But you, <laughs> like, like, did you help with the Kyoto animation thing? Like, did you um, ask your fans to donate for that? I hope you did. Because most everyone else did. So I hope you also did. Because if you didn't, that's really shitty of you considering your pull in this community, apparently. You have a fan base. Be responsible with it. Don't be an asshole. It's very simple. Just don't be an asshole. <sighs> This is probably the only time I'm ever going to do something like this, so... Yeah, that's how I feel. Nuxaku, the worst anti-tuber on this platform. This is just me editing this in later because I just remembered. Dude! Why the hell are you taking Tokyosaurus's... Look at this garbage. Look at this. You have trending in Japan. You know who else does that and has that exact same thumb t thumbnail? Tokyo. Tokyo Saurus. That is literally, literally his whole thing is this. And you took his fucking thumbnail? What the fuck? Dude, you're such an asshole. 
One time I clicked on your video thinking it was one of his, but oh my god, dude, you took his thing. Dude, it is his branding. You took his freaking branding and made it a part of your own. And don't say, well, I helped him out. I brought some stuff. No, dude, you can't. You can't do that. It's like if I took your freaking avatar. That wouldn't. Your avatar is already not really that original, just being a reference to Sans. It's so obviously a reference to Sans. I don't know why you still think that's funny, but holy crap, dude. Like, what the hell? That's going to be a... To rip off Eddie Burback, you know, because I give credit. That's going to be a yikes for me, dog. It's going to be a big yikes for me. It's going to be a big yikes for me, dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? God damn it. God damn it. <sighs>